good morning, Tuesday 29th of May. We are just here in uh, a hotel, having a nice breakfast. We've got the chance for that. So, uh, now we're in Sivas, not Silvas, I kept saying Silvas all day yesterday. It's, not, it's Sivas, we know that now. Yeah. So, and, uh, just have a breakfast here and then we'll be back biking again this afternoon. What have you got there, Jamie? I have made this my own creation. Yeah. So this is what I have doing. This is my little little dessert mm. today. So I have so made made it. Mm. Yeah. So that's it really. We'll be biking again. Not sure where we're going to end up again as normal, but it uh, doesn't really matter. We'll find somewhere on the way. So no. we've got a few questions, a few more questions from Alison and some from Lisbeth as well in Denmark. So maybe later we'll have time just to answer those. So uh, maybe do that later when we get find a place to camp. So want to have a look at the breakfast? Jamie will show you that. Uh, breakfast. Here you can see we have jam, marmalade, and we have some. Some things here and uh, butter and some salad kind of thing and wall wall melon and uh, yes and cucumber and yeah and burek and eggs and bread and juice and some cakes and uh, some scrambled egg and some chai here. This is a chai machine and here are the cups and here are the spoons. This is Turkish. Okay, back out on the road. Just leaving the hotel now. Bugs are loaded. Clean, clean smelling. Everybody smells gloves. clean, yes. Clean smelling gloves. <laughs> so what we'll do it's about lunchtime now, so we're not sure. We'll do 30 kilometers or so this. Two lakes are spotted, one at 30 kilometers, one at 50, so we'll see which one we can get to. Maybe we can camp there this evening. So now we're fully loaded with food again, so let's uh, get on the road. Yes! We just come outside the city borders of Sivas. This is a little strange road network here. We've got three sets of uh, roads next to each other with traffic going in both directions on all three of them. Not sure <laughs> why you choose the one lane compared to the other lane. I've seen that before. Destinations, Hapik we should be today, and then we've got Erzincan, Izerum, that's where Pedro and Jamie have to pick up their visas. So that's the next uh, milestones on the trip. Now we're at the town now, so it's just countryside again. Luckily we have enough food and water for a few days, so let's see how it goes. So a little bit of climbing to do out of Sivas. Uh, Jamie's got strong legs today. Start the riding again, heel to 1450 meters. I think we're staying at 1200, something like that from the sea bus. During the next few days to Israel, we got two climbs of uh, 2000 meters. So I think today should be pretty flat, but then we have some climbing to do the next few days. So we'll see how that goes. <laughs> well done, you two. Can you see the road goes way into the distance? That's where we're going. We're pretty flat. Okay, I think we should carry on. There's lots of dogs here. <laughs> So today we're back to a good old classic tuna sandwiches. <laughs> Long time ago we've had those, but in Sweden we had them every day. Yeah. Peanuts, tuna from a chin tin. Clothes are drying there while we have our lunch. And a nice uh, shelter here in case it starts raining. It's a little bit cloudy today, so that's okay. I 
a like on the map this morning on Google Maps called Hafik, or near a town called Hafik. It's Hafik Lake. So uh, let's go and have a look now, see if we can find a place to camp here maybe. Okay, let's turn it up here to Lake Hafik. Hafik, I think it's called. <laughs> and, uh, there's a, it was actually a park here, but there's quite a lot of rubbish on it. But uh, there's a, a restaurant here, and the guy said we could camp in his garden here. So, couldn't be better. That's quite good. Nice piece of grass. Yeah. Excellent. It has a lake and a bridge even and everything. Yeah. yeah there's a lake here. So, a little bit cloudy today and dark, but uh, nice place to come. Yeah. It was a shame there with the, with the park just over here. Of course, they actually had really nice picnic benches with roofs on and that looked really, really nice, but it was full of rubbish. Yeah. And as we see many places in in Turkey that they, they just leave rubbish everywhere even though mm. we see many containers but I don't know why they just don't put the rubbish in the yeah, containers. Yeah. Such, a, such a shame. Yeah. Yeah, it's a shame what's like but the people are friendly enough. Yeah. But, uh, what's Jamie doing? Playing with chickens. <laughs> and she's called <laughs> Chick Camp. <laughs> Always something for Jamie to do. So I don't want to do the let her stay here and camp. We just brought us some tea. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh nice, Super nice people. Luxury. Yeah, lucky. Yeah. Meet so many friendly people along the way. <laughs> Stopped early today, well earlier than normal today. We've got a few more questions. Um, one more from Alison again. She was wondering whether we uh, worry sometimes about getting caught out if we don't find a camping spot. Yes. Um, <laughs> I used to, <laughs> not that much anymore, really. No, I was famous. We were we were biking in Sweden and Finland, Finland a few years ago. It was the first time we tried it. Mm. Then I was actually worried a lot and started very early in the day when yeah. we got the stage on. I, mm. yeah. but then we got a bit more used to it yeah, now, so yeah, we don't yeah. worry so much That's now. What we do now, we just bike until four, four half past four. Then whenever we are, we start looking at the map and then. Uh, as long as you start early, it's not a big problem. It's only a problem if you leave it too late. So if you start about four o'clock, you've got three hours really until it goes dark, and then uh, you'll always find somewhere. It's just uh, whether you're going to find somewhere with a nice view and water, and you know, everywhere you feel safe and all these kind of things. So but there's plenty of countryside, mountains, and that. Then, hmm. then it seems to be yeah, quite yeah, easy. Yeah, yeah. The problem can be if there's a lot of farmers' fields. Then hmm. it's difficult. Yeah, or in a town. Oh, in the town. We have also thought about the big, if we like stock for places and we could camp near a restaurant like we actually do today mm. or maybe by a petrol station. Yeah, a lot of people do that, yeah. I'm sure so. you read a lot about people stopping petrol stations, but then you're on the side of the side of the main road. It's better to get away from the road if you can. So. But no, I don't worry too much about it anymore. We always find somewhere and look, usually we're quite lucky we find some nice places. Okay, we also have some questions from Denmark, from Lisbeth. Hello Lisbeth, Lisbeth is uh, a work colleague, um, she asked uh, what the temperature is at the moment, or, or has been, um, how much sickness we've had and how many punctures. Um, the weather at the moment, now we're getting further north uh, in Turkey, and we've heard it's a little bit colder, it actually is a bit colder here today, but whether that's generally or what it's like here, I don't know, but today it's about, I don't know, 20 degrees. Well, completely cloudy. Cloudy all day today, yeah. yeah. A little bit rainy. But the rest of the time in Turkey, well, we don't know actually the temperature. We would guess that it's been maybe 25 degrees. Mm. Usually nice and sunny and warm when we wake up in the morning. Um, and sunny until, what, maybe mid-afternoon. And then yeah. we get some clouds and sometimes some rain and some, yeah. some thunder. Yeah. So not uh, nowhere near as warm as we had expected. Mm. Nothing like when you're near the coast. What you imagine Turkey is like yeah. near the coast, Alanya, and we started Italia, these places. Uh, in Greece as well, we was starting to get very hot and thought, oh, really hot, yeah, yeah. how are we going to cope? But mm. it hasn't been so no. hot in Turkey. No, not in the in the central Turkey. Then it's quite nice temperature, really. Not really windy, so it's uh, it's quite nice biking temperature. Yeah. Really, so. so, yeah. yeah. Uh, sickness, yep. Jamie has been sick, or had a cold twice. Every time he's been jumping in the cold swimming pools in Croatia, <laughs> he got uh, cold for a few days. And uh, apart from that, not and then much. he had a couple of days when he wasn't so good here in Turkey, but maybe he was dehydrated. 
mm. we think. Oh, yeah. yeah. But luckily, apart from that, nothing. And we've been fine, so no mm. major illnesses. No, no. Luckily. And then um, punctures, yes, two punctures in 3,000 kilometers, not too bad. And they both happened on the same day, just uh, last week on the way to Ilara Valley. I had a puncture. The same afternoon, Jamie had a puncture. So, yeah. So, but can't complain really. We're driving a lot of small stones, a lot of glass on the side of the road. So, uh, got some pretty good tyres really. They're designed to go around the world. So, they cope with a lot of bad conditions really. So, not too bad. Can't complain really. That's the only problems we've had with the bike so far. So, yep. Okay. That was uh, the questions we have at the moment. Hope we uh, answer the questions. If you've got any other questions, just send them along. We'll try and answer them when we can in the next few days or whenever the time is right. So uh, that's it for now. I think we'll uh, have a little rest, get the cooker out soon, and uh, just enjoy the lake here. Maybe it'll rain. We don't know. We'll see. So. <laughs> So now we're back uh, to camping. Uh, lucky tonight, at, uh, this restaurant here they let us uh, stay in their garden, so that's nice. Uh, just turn the light up, must be closing time. But, uh, yeah, they let us stay in the gardens, that was nice. Tomorrow we'll try to get up a bit earlier and get going again. We have, uh, about 40 kilometers flat and then after that we have to climb a 2,000 meter high mountain so not sure whether we'll get to the top of that tomorrow or whether we'll just get part way up we will see how it goes how it goes with the wind and things like that so yeah that was all for today we'll uh, be back tomorrow on the bikes and uh, see what it's like on the mountains